We're in East Flatbush, one of the hardest hit communities in the entire borough of Brooklyn and in fact the entire city. And community advocates say more needs to be done in zip codes like this one to help mitigate the effects of the pandemic. The virus itself is being concentrated in black and brown and lower income neighborhoods. From Brooklyn to Queens to the Bronx, this map released by the city shows New York's most impoverished zip codes painted purple with higher instances of diagnosed COVID-19 cases. While we see people able to run to the Hamptons, uh, these are the folks who are stuck here. Public advocate Jamani Williams says mixed messaging in early March about schools, which businesses should be opened and closed, and who should stay inside hit communities like Flatbush hard. He says long term housing and wage inequality are structural solutions in the long term. But right now he feels a hard lockdown of the city is needed to save lives, particularly in low income communities. We need to all be aligned on the local level and saying lock down the city for the next two weeks so we can get a handle on that so that the people who have to go out are protected. There's clearly a pattern here. Councilman Donovan Richards compares the current situation to Hurricane Sandy, where low-income neighborhoods had trouble getting the attention and resources to mitigate and recover. He wants to see more food, medical, and other resources focused on these hard-hit communities to make it easier for people to socially distance and stop the spread. We do need to see more testing sites. Uh, in low income communities and communities of color across Queens as well. There seems to be a lack of that. Public health experts like Dr. Sandra Albrecht say that as scarce as these resources are, the city needs to get some personal protective equipment in the hands of people living in these neighborhoods, especially those going to work or doing food shopping, then returning to multi generational homes in large apartment buildings. We do need to get to a point where these workers, if they're going to continue to be going to work, which I mean, it stands to reason they, they will need to keep going because if they're what helping, they're what helping the city keep moving, keep running, um, then they're going to need to be protected as well. Anecdotally, we're also hearing from some lawmakers in some of these hardest hit zip codes that they're talking to police officers who are finding people dead or unconscious in their apartments. We're working to confirm those reports in East Flatbush. Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.